In this week's show, I'll be visiting the Butterfly House, which is Longleat's newest attraction. And I'll be finding out about the Longleat Railway, which is one of Longleat's oldest attractions. So all aboard for this week's edition of Junior Rangers. The Longleat Railway is a great favourite with visitors and has been carrying passengers for over 40 years. The train takes visitors on a fascinating ride through the woods and along by the lake. And over the years, the train has been pulled by lots of different types of engines, from steam to diesel to rail cars. The first train of the day is almost ready to leave the station and today it's being pulled by the steam engine. Everyone loves steam engines, but there are a lot of jobs that have to be done to get them ready for the day. Which is why the steam engine is not used every day. And Simon, who is one of the drivers, came in early this morning to get the engine ready for the visitors. Firstly, he has to light the fire. And then make sure it's burning well. And then the engine needs to be polished and oiled to prepare it for the day. And while Simon is getting the steam engine ready, Annie has been to look at the new butterfly house with Kim. Here we are then Annie, this is the brand new Longleat Butterfly House. What do you think? It's much bigger than the last one. Is isn't it? If we go on round this way, I'll show you. See if we can spot some of the butterflies and some of the really important plants that we have to have as well. So we've got one down here. Look. Oh yes. Very pretty one. Now I'm still not quite up together on all the different types of butterfly because there's <laughs> hundreds and hundreds to learn. But I'm getting there slowly. This here, you see, this is a citrus tree. This is quite important for a lot of our butterflies because they like to to lay their eggs on the citrus trees. So butterflies only normally live about two or three weeks, you see, so we have to keep them, keep them breeding in here as much as we can. That's why it's so important that we've got the right plants. The majority of the ones we keep in here are things like uh, swallowtails and the owl butterflies, because they're very, very large and easy for people to see. Only at this time of the day, because we haven't quite opened up yet, so they all tend to sit on the ceiling where it's nice and warm oh, until a bit you, later if on. You, if you see through the trees, there's a big well, there. Oh, there we are, well spotted. That's a scarlet swallowtail just up there. Now, as we come around the corner here, just on this side is our pupae room. So this is where everything hatches out. And make sure that you look in here when you come and visit and you could see caterpillars, pupae and maybe even butterflies hatching out. And then as we come round, we come back to the ants. Remember the ants used to live in Pets Corner. They now live down here at the butterfly house. And we've let them out, so they can so walk around. Shoes, didn't they like exactly. And what we'll do is put it and the ants have a big there. appetite, so we'll give them some more leaves, which they're soon cutting up and carrying to the nest. And you can get a great view of them through these special magnifying lenses. And back at the station, Joe has met up with John, who is explaining how the steam engine works. Right, so what we have here basically is a kettle and if you can imagine a kettle when it boils it makes steam yeah. which is exactly the same. We have the fire which boils the water yeah. which makes the steam which is then let down into the cylinders when the driver requires it which makes the pistons go back and forth which turns the wheels, right? which turns the wheels exactly so simple <laughs> but that is basically what it is. And once you've lit that fire, you've given it life. Right, so here we have the fire. 
which is coming along nicely. And that's heating the water up to give us steam and eventually we'll get uh, that clock up there will tell us when we've got steam raising. Now this is the regulator. I can open it now because we've got no steam in the uh, uh, pressure. So uh, that we open that and that would make us go forward or backward. So that's like the accelerator on a car then? Exactly that, yep. One quick question. Does, is it for steam shapes, the one that go on? Woo -woo. Oh yeah. yes. And when we've got enough steam, when we move that, it'll go woo all right. Let's go and have a look at the cylinders where the steam does actually go down to to make the wheels go round. So here we have the steam collected inside here and the top of the boiler. This is full of water. There are tubes that go through the boiler where the fire passes from the firebox through to the smoke box. Now surrounding those tubes, water, which then boils, makes steam, mm -hmm. collects here. And when you open the regulator, that lets the steam down to the cylinders, which then make the pistons go back and forth, which and through and wheel. through the valve gear, makes the wheels go round. And a short time later, the steam engine is ready to start the day. John just needs to fill it up with water from the water tower and then we can sit back and enjoy a trip on the Longleat Railway. Hope you've enjoyed our ride on the Longleat Railway. And our look at the new butterfly garden. The next train is about to leave the station and we've reached the end of our show. And we hope to see you all again next week for another edition of Junior Rangers. <laughs> see you next week. Bye. So come and join us next week when we'll find out how to track wild animals. <laughs>